Morning guys, Thursday the 13th of August. Much fresher this morning after the rain last night. Well, <laughs> so I've had some um, news, I won't go into detail, but some news that um, will change. Um, yeah, we just mean there's some changes that <clears throat> are sort of coming up. Um, the next few months and it it wasn't shall I say expected so it's one of those things where it's a bit well you know you might call it blindsided um, sort of stuff that leaves you a little bit well in shock a bit day so to speak um, and it's like that I've been thinking about how I'm, how I deal with that, you know, how I process that, um, and obviously sort of sharing that to enable other people, you know, who may experience change on the level of the unknown, the, the um, moments of angst, anxiety that may come along with that. Um, so when I was um, feeling a few of those internal angst, anxiety, moments in my stomach, mainly, quite low level, but I still know it was there, um, <clears throat> I was, you know, breathe, literally, so my breathing down, breathing through it, um, a couple of times I had a hand on my heart when I did that as well um, there's been the moments where there's a few songs that I remember from when I was you know really younger and um, often those songs will come into my mind and I think they're more they're familiar um, perhaps you know what I associate at a certain point so yeah it's interesting that trying to find for me things that are familiar that you gain some comfort from when you're also experiencing a you know some potential unknown some potential um, change um, and at the same time there, there's also moments where I will sort of, one minute I'll be feeling okay and then I'll sort of have a, a moment where I'll feel a little bit emotional. Come on, Will. Um, and actually, it can be hard to allow yourself to to be with that, the emotion and the, and the feeling, the upset times. But it's also important that you allow that, not not you know to allow it to be to overwhelm you and for it to continue, but certainly to allow yourself to feel it, to express it, um, and then find a way of other ways of channeling it so um, for example I was then I, I write a lot, I think I've said that before um, so I then wrote some of my feelings down writing things down doesn't necessarily 
change something immediately. Come on, Will. But I find, I find it cathartic. I find that it just, it, it, it enables me to sort of focus and channel and get something out of my system. Um, come on, Will. And actually, although I say it doesn't change things immediately, I think what can happen is writing your thoughts down, getting it out of your system and on paper. It not only channels it, but it can also um, can enable you to accept and acknowledge um, whatever it is that's you know that you're feeling or that <clears throat> changes that may be um, coming up and so forth. So that helps, and I think when you also know there's some level of change that you're going to experience, I think um, it is important to still also retain some familiar um, and actually to not be making too many of the big changes you know, in that period of time because I think in terms of not pushing yourself into overwhelm you know, it's important to be able to you know, know ironically in terms of the name of the business know where your limits are and be able to then um, have enough resource to to deal with stuff um, so I mean this walk has been it's become a constant in the family for a number of months now um, I think my I mean my work um, is actually a a constant for me you know it's always been my work and the work I do has always been a core part of um, my life what I enjoy um, you know all those things that it, it brings me um, sense of achievement satisfaction feeling of you know that I'm I'm making a, a difference those things are really important um, so I think the not only the constant of my work but also there's times where you you need to then focus um, your mind and you know get your mind into the work so that it's it's it's, it's something for me it's another massive part of channeling my focus my energy because um, I know there's something I'm, I'm good at, I'm very, I know it, I know it well. Um, so, you know, some of that work, I will zone in to um, what I need to do fairly quickly. So it doesn't take too much effort and energy because I know it well. Um, and that's what I mean by when you know there are potential changes coming. You know, it's like, well, really sort of channel your energy into what you know, um, what you find easier, because it comes easy to you. And maybe the things where you know it might take more effort or energy... Um, often, you know, the like the, the newer stuff or the stuff that needs more time, thinking, preparation, um, where possible, if it is possible, um, try and not well, try and reduce that. So what's going on over there, Will? <laughs> Hey. Hmm. Come on, you. I 
and then also in relation to if you know um, you know what some of those changes may consist of then come here well part of that is also taking some practical steps as much as that's also part of accepting what you need to do that can be at times quite difficult it can be easy to just go oh, do you know what oh, I don't want to think about this for another minute or another day or however long but taking practical steps even smaller ones can enable you give you a sense of influence of control of power um, so yeah that's important And also I think um, choosing um, at what point you decide that it's appropriate and or the right time to let other, um, you know, key people that you believe, you know, either need to know or because actually you want them to know because there's certain people that you feel feels right to share that with. Um, so I think it's also important to, to name that. <coughs> and to find a person or a couple of people to be able to, um, to share your, your thoughts with as well. To be able to name that, verbalise it. Um, Mm. You doing well? Mm. What you doing? Hey. So guys, have the rest of a twirly, tinkly, twinkly, um, twilighty sort <laughs> of a day. And uh, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.